YouTube, this is your old boy 5 here again, back with another review on the JG AK-47 Tactical. Um, I've had this gun for about a year now. It's, it's, I bought it off of Air Splat. It, I bought it for $120, but it jumped up $10, so it is now $130. Um, I'll just jump right into it. It requires no assembly. It obviously does not come with the mag in. This is a mag I actually bought. It's a tin mag, so it's pretty durable. It's got the winding right there, and I put I just put the orange marker on the bottom so that I can mark that as mine. Um, I also have, this is the mag that came with it, the waffle mag. I like this one a little better, actually, because although it is plastic, it's good plastic. Um, it has also the winding on the bottom, but the reason I like it better is because it has a winding tool hole. So as you can see, it winds much faster than just going like this. So, yep, how you load it is pretty simple. Just put it in, kind of, you have to like make it bend a little bit, and then pushes in like that to reload, or I meant to unload it. You have to go push this in, pull it out like that. Um, here is the fire selecting. This is safety, obviously. Um, this is automatic. So you just hold it down, and this is semi-automatic. So, yep. I do not have the battery in, obviously, right now. This comes with a full rail. Full four-sided rail. Which I really, really like on that. See? I just bought a new, um, red dot for it. But it is not shipped yet, so... It will be coming in a few days. I bought it from eBike. Again, I really like that website. I also just bought a new M1911. So I'm waiting for that. Also, it's in the same package. I bought another no winding mag for this. It's 150 rounds. So I, I'm pretty excited to get those. And I also, I mean, I don't know if this Holy Cow special will be going on in eBike for much longer, but. If you're interested in buying an M1911, there's a Holy Cow special for an extra mag for $3. So I bought three of those. So I it comes with one mag and then I bought three extra for three or for $9. So uh, the normal mag that it comes with is $26 or $27. So I would really really take advantage of that it's an extremely good deal. But I got this particular gun from Airsplat. Airsplat is also a good website. It doesn't have as many specials as Evike does, but it the guns are a little cheaper, but it doesn't have as much variety. So here is the sliding, uh, the hop-up slide. So right there is the hop-up. You can see, you can pull it back further. and I just keep it all the way forward because it might be a little too much if you put it back at all actually so here is the the range or the distance that you if you're shooting your gun it has numbers on the top I'm not sure if that's in I think it might be in yards I'm not totally sure it's at I put it at zero usually just because that's the default setting but it has one two three four and it goes up all the way to eight so I don't know if that's in like like it means like 80 80 yards or something or 80 feet I'm not sure or 80 meters, I have no idea. So, there's this warning sticker that I actually try to take off, but I mean, it just looks messy if you take it off. So, um, I don't know. You can take it off if you want. I don't really care, obviously, but whatever. Um, here is the the tactical grip that comes with it. You push it in on that screw right there, and it just slides it out, and or it pops out and in. I like it. I usually play with it in, just or well. I don't know. I, I mix it up. <laughs> so it has a very nice rail right here that you can really attach anything, any type of scope. So I just bought a new red dot, as I said earlier. Um, the barrel, here, I'll show you what's plastic. The stock is plastic, high grade. Uh, the, the pistol grip is plastic, but high grade. The trigger guard is metal, and I believe the trigger is also metal. This body right here, if you cannot tell, it is metal up to the the um, rail system. 
this is all plastic. All this darker black stuff is plastic. So it's good. It's high grade plastic. Um, this barrel cut off right here. This is all metal. And then the tip is plastic. So um, if you want to buy a new clip, I bought this one for around $12. And then this one just came with a gun. So yes, um, I just also bought a new no winding magazine as I mentioned earlier for twelve fifty. So no winding, which means uh, if you if you're a new buyer to automatic airsoft guns, means you have to wind it once because it this is the feeding right here and it has a line of BBs that go up here and once they run out, you have to wind it back up so it fills up again. So I mean it's not really an inconvenience it's perfectly fine it's not that big of a trouble so here is the battery that came with it it's a good battery I haven't needed to buy one because it lasts it lasts a very long time around maybe five to six hours it takes uh, with the charger that came with it it took about four hours to charge but um I bought this new charger which hold on. I will show you, I think. No, well, it's in my drawer somewhere, so I can't find it right now, but. Oh, that's the gun. It shoots about 350 to 400 FPS. Uh, there are, there are some more expensive ones that you can get that shoot about 480 to like even 500 or I meant not 480 400 like about 450 maybe if you upgrade it it could go up to 480 but I don't know I really wouldn't want to shoot that fast because I wouldn't want to play with you so <laughs> unless you're playing in a skirmish but you know so yes this is it, the range on it is about 100 to 120 feet which I think is pretty good for an assault rifle I'm like this review I did on this sniper, it shoots, obviously it's a sniper, so it shoots a lot more. It shoots uh, 200 to 250 feet, so that's very good. If you're wondering what the iron sights look like, it looks like a real AK-47 iron sight. So, I can't really get very good for it. There we go, right there. So, I mean, I, it's it's nice. It's a very nice gun. I've, as I said before, I had it over a year, have had no problems whatsoever with it. So, yeah, I would really recommend this gun. Um, I, I do not believe that you can put a silencer on it. I mean, I don't know what this button does right there, but I've not been able to take the orange tip off. So, that leads me to believe that there is no threaded barrel. So... Um, sorry if you wanted a silencer on it, but I guess you can't. So unless you buy an adapter that's specially made for this. So this is where you put the battery. Just pull these cords out like that, and just hooks up like this. It, it just adapts. I can't really do it with one hand unless you want to really see it. I can't do it right now, but I'm holding the camera with one hand too, so yeah, I just yeah, obviously you'll figure out how to do that. It's not hard at all. You just push that back in there. Like that, and then to put it back on. Oh, wrong way. You just push it like that. Make sure this part right here is facing upward. Upward. So like this. and then slide it up. All right, um, the battery is an 8.4 volt and 1500 mega, or I meant not mega, uh, 1500 MEH. Uh, so it's a, it's pretty long lasting. With the new charger I bought, it, it goes, uh, it only takes about an hour and a half to charge, so that's very good. Um, I bought 15,000 point two, or yeah, point two BBs for this, so that's the best it shoots, I think is point two. So, um, yes, please rate and subscribe, and 
uh, I will be getting that 1911 review in um, whenever it comes in. So I'll even do an unboxing for it. So right when I get it, I'm just going to take it out of the box and start rolling. So, yep. Thanks. Please rate and subscribe.